What's up dreamers, it's your boy Joseph here. I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about the Carl Lentz situation. He was a Hillsong pastor, came out that he had had an affair and so he has been um, fired from his job as a pastor due to moral failures and some other things. I don't really know all of the details, I haven't looked into it too much. But I do want to say a few things in case anyone is sort of sad, anyone is a bit worried, anyone is concerned, or anyone is just having questions and wrestling with God. Firstly, I want to say that he is not God and he is not Jesus. And if you're looking to him or looking to any pastor or your pastor or any man or woman here on earth to save you or to give you the satisfaction that you're looking for, you're not going to find it because that can only be found in Jesus Christ who lives and breathes, who loves you and loves me. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing that I want to say is there was obviously some sin and some undealt with things in that man's life. Now, when you're in a big church like Hillsong, when it's huge, it's much easier to think big and go broad than it is to go deep and be vulnerable. And that is what I'm so passionate about in church, is not to build big, crazy, mega churches that seem like they're having a huge impact. I'm interested in building big people that have a big impact and seeing God impact someone's life so deeply. I'm into discipleship. I'm into one-to-one -one where you can't hide things and you have to be vulnerable and you have to pray for each other and you have to have Bible studies together and you have to prophesy over each other and things like that. And so I would potentially suggest that this man, Carl Lentz, maybe wasn't getting that vulnerable one-to-one -one time. He wasn't going deep. He was just focusing on the big and the wide and the external and not the internal. And I pray and I hope that he does get the help he needs. He obviously needs a bit of counseling. There obviously needs to be maybe some marriage counseling there. And he needs to deal with some stuff that he hasn't dealt with in potentially a long time. Now, another thing I want to talk about, number three, is lockdown and how it's been so hard for pastors, so hard for Christians. They've been wrestling with their faith. Some of, some people have just dried up completely. Some others who we thought were in the middle of the road, some have gone full deep and been set on fire and it's been great for their faith. Whereas some others, it's been really bad and we've seen them fall and we've seen them crumble and it's been really hard and it's been really difficult. And in this case, that might have happened to our friend Carl Lentz. Again, I don't know all the details, but we can only assume because of some recent things that have happened. Maybe you have felt dry, that you have felt hurt this year. You can know that you're not alone. Even big pastors, even big church leaders, even the your church leader might be struggling this year. So who's going to reach out to them? I would encourage you right now to reach out to your pastor or those who you think are in spiritual authority or p potentially more on fire than you are. Like, how are they doing? They need to be asked right now. Please do it. Another thing that I want to mention that I found a little more interesting, and this might be, I don't know, a little bit more curveball, is there's this quote I know, which is, show me your five closest friends and I'll show you your future. As we know, Carl Lentz was hanging with celebrities. He was hanging in downtown LA, big shop places, big shop clubs, this sort of thing. Um, he was on, you know, the Logan Paul podcast. He was hanging with Justin Bieber and other music artists and people like this who have um, a lot of power, a lot of privilege, and are in a lot of places. Now, let's just think about it. Celebrity culture is glamorous. It is sort of show-offy. It's also quite promiscuous. It can sometimes be um, scandalous. And those are things that come spiritually and practically with being involved in celebrity culture. So if you're hanging out with all those people all the time, if they are your five, ten closest friends for a long period of time, it's easy to become like that. The same way, if your five closest friends are on fire for the Lord, who love the Bible, who love the Holy Spirit, who love talking to God and being in a relationship with Him, and who feed you and edify you and you encourage each other and iron is sharpening iron, then you are going to become like that. And so this is a call right now for you guys to think about who are you spending most of your time with. We're obviously, we are called to spend time with those who are hurting and who need Jesus, but we shouldn't spend 
all our time with them. We need to be getting a balance and we need to be make sure who is feeding us and who are we feeding, who is pouring into us while we pour out. Because as soon as that balance is off, it's all gonna hit the fan. I know this is mostly just a ramble and event, but I know it's affecting a lot of people and my wife and I are just discussing it quite a lot this week and just, yeah, how we are a bit bummed and a bit sad about it, to be honest. Check on your pastor, check on your friends, see who you're hanging out with, see who they're hanging out with, see who needs help at this time because a lot of people do, even if they don't seem like it. Let's hope that he stays within the faith and finds his place in the church and his family is restored and there is forgiveness and there is love there. That is my prayer. I'm hoping that he's okay. And yep, I'm hoping that you're okay and that's it. I'm not going to do some sort of deep anything else or Bible verses or anything like that. It's just a quick one today. Love you guys. You are wonderful. Keep dreaming. Peace. Thank you.